Hey, Martin County, a special Indian Town update. I wanted to let you know we had the privilege this morning of attending a ceremony of the renaming of a street. Wow, you say, the renaming of a street. Sounds exciting. Well, actually, it was exciting, especially when you know who the name of the person is that the street was named after. And when you really think about it, the name of the street was formerly a president. And to rename a street from a president to... Well, actually, one of the founders of Indian Town, a young lady by the name of Ethel Thelma Waters, who died at the age of 82, not too far back. And she left behind a legacy of 73 years here in this community that she called home, and people won't soon forget her. And now that the street sign is up there, every time you drive down Warfield Boulevard, I want you to look up and I want you to see that E. Thelma Waters Street and remember who Thelma was and hopefully it'll help make you a little bit better of a person too. You see, Ethel grew up in a time that, well, we were going through some pretty tumultuous times in this country like we are right now, but then it was the Civil Rights Movement and Thelma decided that she was going to take a direction more of Martin Luther King than of Malcolm X. And she demonstrated that her entire life. She worked not to be an activist for civil rights, but she worked by example. She led by example. And Thelma never accepted that she could not change those things that most people think are unchangeable. Her actions through her life have demonstrated to many people that if you decide that there is something that needs to be done for the right reasons, anything can be done. And she demonstrated that to this community and to Martin County and to the state of Florida to which she is in the Women's Hall of Fame. Thelma's an example that everyone should know know more about, and put some of the characteristics of her life into yours. It's not everybody that gets a street renamed after him, and the reason that she did is because, again, Thelma did not accept that she could not make a difference in her world. She set out to do it. What are those things? Well, we'll link to a couple articles down here so you can find the history out firsthand and read it for yourself. But we at TAM want the family members to know that while your mother is a legend, we know that you will work to do what is right as well. And we know that she taught you well enough that you be yourself you do what's right, you stay in the light, and you do what's good, and good things will come. So to the family, it's a happy day today, and we, we're proud to have been there to celebrate it with you. So to the unofficial first mayor of Indian Town, who we all know is looking down upon us, God bless you, Miss Waters. I wish I had known you deeper and longer, but your legacy lives on, and I've found inspiration in your life. So. I want to leave you with some footage and there are some stories and links below so that you can find out more about Miss Waters as well. God bless y'all. No more out. It's Kevin. Hey, hey, man. Day. How are you doing? Eric? It is a historic day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Something else.
Ah, right, everybody say Thelma. 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 Hey, Indian Town, look here. Scott Watson's with me. We're at the Thelma Water sign changing. One of the newest members to the PZA board, too, I see. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Yes, sir. Congratulations. I'll ask you what I've asked everybody else. Tell me what this day means to you. Well, Thelma was uh, basically the mother of Indian Town, as far as I'm concerned. She set the example for all of us to follow. And I, I said today, she's looking down on us, going, We have more work to do. That's, that's the Thelma. Amen she to that. It's always about improving and making life better. No excuses, just make life better. Well, that's one of the things I noticed about Miss Waters. Didn't know her for a long time, but she never complained about injustices. She always worked to correct an injustice. That's right. And I think working. we could all take a lesson from that Absolutely. these days. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, keep up the good work. I look forward to watching your PZA board meeting. It should yes, be sir. interesting. Thank you, Eric. All right, man. Have a good day. You too. All right, Indian Town, I am with one of the newest elected council members in Indian Town, Angelina Perez. Angelina, good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Hey, you were here for the sign changing. Adams Avenue is no longer Adams. One of the presidents are gone, and one of the founders of Indian Town are up there now, Thelma Waters. Tell me what this means to you and for the village. It means a lot. You know, I got to meet Thelma when I started working for Indian Town Nonprofit Housing. She's an inspiration. She made things happen in Indian Town, and I was like... She is a role model, and I'm glad we were able to have a street named after her. All right, fantastic. Well, I was talking with Thelma's daughter, Phyllis, and she said, you know, there's certain streets Mom wouldn't have wanted to have named after because they don't keep them clean. She said, at least this one they keep pretty clean, so Mom would be pretty proud. Does the village have any plans to upgrade the community cleanup projects or anything going on? At this moment, no. But, you know, it would be interesting to bring, you know, bring it to council and say, get engaged in the community. Let's make it happen. This is our hometown. Amen. Fantastic. Anything else you'd like to say? No, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all and see you. Happy holidays. Fantastic. Thank you for being here. It would have meant a lot Thank to Thelma. Thanks, son. Bye. Hey everybody, Mayor of Indian Town, Susan Gibbs Thomas. Susan, you're out here today for the sign changing. Tell me what this means to you and for the village. It's a long time coming. Uh, Thelma Waters leaves a legacy that will impact Indian Town for generations. She was the true first mayor of Indian Town. And she'll be remembered. Yeah, buddy. Amen. Thank you. Second. What are we talking? We're going to talk about that new sign that's up there that says Thelma Waters. Huh? I can see the sign back there. It's in the it's in the picture. Tell me what it means to you today. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's a signage that partially shows how Indian Town feels about her, but not as much as how much she felt for Indian Town. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Your mom was a great lady. She could see things when they weren't right and when they were right, and she and didn't. She let you know when they were not right. But she didn't complain about them. She decided she was going to go out and do something to make things right when things were wrong. And I think your mom is a great example for everybody. They could learn a lot from her. So we still need to carry on her legacy. Right. If you want to be like Thelma, whatever that means to you, it's about helping someone else, treating someone else with kindness, consider people who can't help themselves. And give more of yourself to someone else. Amen that's to that. That's about. Amen to that. So if you ever think you want to do something, you have a neighbor next door, you have somebody in front of you that you've never spoken to, try it. You might like that. You're awesome, kid. Thank, Thank you. you so much.